New Year's resolutions. Everyone's got a bunch of different resolutions. I haven't really made one. I just had the same, you know, the kind of the same, like, get get healthy, be in shape, eat right. On yesterday, my day was all thrown off because the guy I trained with was sick. So I had to figure something out. At one point, I thought I'd go, go do yoga with Kyle. But Kyle had done yoga the day before. Very she true. had to go to court, which we want to get into. But... I ended up somehow, long story short, taking a Matt Pilates class. Oh, that's oh, fun. I love those classes. Mother of God. Those are good ones. I was like, I thought it was going to be with all the machines, you know? And I get there, there's no machines. It's just, it's Matt. That's what the Matt stands for. <laughs> Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. <laughs> so it was 45 minutes long, and there was a point where I'm taking this class where I'm dying, right? I'm like, oh my God, it's so much core work. It's all abs yeah. and stuff, right? And then the lady, the teacher goes, okay, we're almost done with the warm up. <laughs> warm up? Oh, no. I was like, oh, yeah, I am so sore, but it's like a good sore. Do you know what I mean? The yes. Pilates sneaks up on you because, like, I think during it, for the most part, it seems like the moments are subtle, but they get you. I was, I was drenched in sweat. Okay, so like I said, I was doing that, but Kyle was in court. Dunk, dunk, dunk. <laughs> she was like, you see that viral video, that guy jumping over and tacking the judge? Yeah. I was afraid Kyle was going to do that. That yesterday. was me. Jeez. That was that me was yesterday. You. What happened? You know, okay, so, uh, you know, it was a couple months ago. I got pulled over with my kids in the car. There were a few things that I was actually pulled over for, but the, the officer was super nice. I ended up writing me a ticket because apparently my registration had been expired for a while. I honestly did not know that because... My husband usually takes care of that, so it's his fault. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. I mean, it's my responsibility. So I I fixed it right away, but I had to wait for the court date, which was yesterday. And it's like court. You know what I mean? It feels so serious and kind of scary. Like, I'm not really a person who, who has ever really, like, enjoyed being in trouble. And I'm like, when you're sitting there in the courtroom and there's a judge in front of you and there's a police officer right behind mm-hmm. me, I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to pee my pants. This just feels so scary. Like, And it was just a traffic ticket. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I can't imagine what the people who actually, like, did crazy crimes feel like. So when I got there, I had five minutes to spare. I was kind of, like, really crunching the time. And they say, look for your name on the screen to see which courtroom you go into. And I'm sitting there and I'm watching the clock and this thing keeps scrolling down. I don't see my name. And I'm like, oh my gosh, did I go to the wrong court? (laughs) Because there was three different addresses on the ticket. Like, oh no. So I go to the front and the lady's like, oh yeah, no, you just take care of it right here at the window. I was like, really? It's anticlimactic. I'm pretty sure it said I had to go into a judge. So I give her some information. She goes, oh, no, you have to go into the courtroom for this. And I was like, no, I'm late. (laughs) Now I'm going to be walking in the judge. He's going to look at me like, woo, thanks for showing up on time. So I walk in, and it's all quiet, and there's three other people in there, and there's an officer, and I sit like right in front of him, and I'm like, okay, I'm all prepared. Like, I wore a blazer. I feel like I'm ready for this, right? I'm I'm thinking, like... The judge is going to be like, okay, state your case. And I'm going to have to be something like, you know, the affidavit and the jurisdiction doesn't have it. Acquit me and uh, dismiss the case. I, I object. And like, they call my name and I go up and <laughs> the judge goes, I see you have current registration now, so I will dismiss the ticket. And I was like, I didn't say anything. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and he's like, okay, go sit down. So I had to sit back down. And then there's like paperwork guys, like right to the left of the judge. And then they call me back up. They hand me the sheet of paper and they go, you're good to go. I was like, that's it? You're like, I can't, can I get tried for double jeopardy <laughs> at all? You're dropping all the language you've learned in court. I literally, They're going to lead yeah. you away in cuffs? <laughs> right, like, yeah. And then and you're no, like, I don't no, know like, why that guy jumped and attacked that judge last week. This is easy. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> Boy, all the movies and TV shows exaggerate. You didn't have to say anything. Oh <laughs> well, that's good news. Oh, my gosh, I know. I was like, <laughs> oh, there was just like this huge weight that was lifted off my shoulder. And I looked around and I was like, this is a great place. <laughs> <laughs> so I got it dismissed. Hooray! Good for you. Oh, that's good. Well, now you got. Did you tell your kids? You're like, hey, remember when mommy got pulled over, running guns? The ticket went away. The RICO charge got dropped. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> mommy and young, mommy and young thug almost shared a cell. Oh my I haven't goodness! Show, I haven't told them yet, but I should because, like, literally, they're the worst backseat drivers now. Because when I was pulled over, the officer told them to now be junior officers and pay attention to what mommy's doing when she's driving, and be sure to tell her. Like, he's like, now you can tell her if she's doing something wrong. And so, like, they're like, mommy, don't you think you're going too fast? <laughs> and like, we're, if we're coming up to a stoplight, Addie goes, Mom, slow down. Oh my I'm God. like, I'm 800 feet away. I'm not going to slow down yet. <laughs> that would be 
drive me crazy. <laughs>